it's Courtney from Yellow Daisy. Welcome back to our channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos coming up. So today, I am going to take you on another uh, grocery haul and meal prep. So I literally just got off of the airplane <laughs> from a work trip. And the past few weeks, I haven't really felt so good. So I actually did a grocery pickup this time. So I'm not going to take you along with me as I'm in the grocery store, but I am going to take you along with me as I go to the grocery store to pick up my groceries. All right, so we're going to go ahead and head out and go get my groceries. And then we'll come back here and I'll show you everything that I got. And I will take you along with me as I meal prep for the week. guys so now you can see exactly what I have decided to do for this week so um, I will be traveling on Monday so I am planning on eating leftovers um, we'll have some barbecue so I'm planning on eating that and then we'll start on Tuesday with some food but we'll just do Tuesday and Thursday with our meals and then we'll just have leftovers the rest of the week um, and then I think we'll probably do a pizza night on Friday just because it's easy and fun and we never really do that. So, um, and then I'm going to do some avocado toast for breakfast, some hard boiled eggs, some juice, fruit. Um, and my big kick right now is uh, frying up an egg and then make sure it's really cooked, obviously. And then I put a little bit of mayonnaise on a piece of toast and it's very healthy and it's delicious and it makes it a little bit better for me. So... That is what I'm thinking of doing this week. So, again, this is my Carrie L meal planner, and I absolutely love it, and I will link her information below. All right, guys, Daisy and I are on our way right now to go get our groceries. Um, like I said earlier, I just got back from traveling for a work trip, so I'm just going to go pick up the groceries from Walmart, um, and I will link below a coupon code for you to use. Um, we love our Walmart pickup, and um, it's so convenient, especially like days like today where, you know, I'm just getting back from my work trip, and I don't want to go in the grocery store and actually go shopping. So come along with us as we go pick them up. All right guys, we're here checking in. Um, so all you have to do is just check in with a little kiosk. Um, you just either put your name or your order number in. Um, and then it'll tell you which bay to pull up to. Um, so we're gonna sit here, we're gonna wait for our groceries, and then we'll go back home and we'll start doing some meal prep. All right guys, so I'm back from the grocery store now, and I've got all of my ingredients for our meals for this week. So since it is Monday, I will not be making um, dinner tonight. We just had some barbecue, so we ate some leftover barbecue. So I'm only making two meals this week, as you saw in my uh, meal planner um, earlier. So we're gonna um, do pasta fagiole and chicken, Mediterranean chicken and rice. So I'm still trying to stick with the Mediterranean lifestyle. Um, you know, I, I do have things here and there, but majority of the food that I'm trying to eat um, is Mediterranean. And it is February, so it's Heart Health Month. So. Mediterranean diet is great for heart health, so I'm really trying to push eating that life, eating in that lifestyle now. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything that I got, and then we're gonna start on meal prep. So first, I've got um, some chicken broth and then some chicken thighs. Um, the recipe that I'm making actually has chicken thighs and rice. 
So I'm really excited because I think the chicken thighs, they just have better flavor. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and then it has a half an onion. And then the pesto frijol, it's got beef broth. And then it has a few recipe, or a few more ingredients. Obviously this one does too that I already have in the um, pantry, like rice and different seasonings and butter, that kind of stuff. Um, for this one, it's got the pasta noodles, which I already have. I had some leftover from last week. Um, but it's the pasta sauce. We've got the um, different, two different types of beans. Um, and then we've got the petite diced tomatoes and then onion, carrot, and celery. So as I mentioned before, I'm also doing smoothies in the morning and I like to include carrots and celery in my smoothies. So I just got the bigger um, box or bigger containers of them um, so that I can just use that for my smoothies as well. And then one of our YouTube followers told me to add avocado to my smoothies just to add a little bit of fat. And so I got another avocado this week so that I can try that. I'm really excited to try it. <clears throat> and then um, orange juice has been a staple in my morning routine. I absolutely love orange juice. So I got some orange juice. And then I've heard a lot about this Fair Life and I've never tried it. If you've tried it, leave me a comment below and tell me how you feel about it. But I heard that it's just absolutely great. It's got protein um, and I've been craving a lot of uh, sugary things. So I'm hoping that this will kind of take my um, sweet tooth away a little bit and it'll satisfy that. So um, I went ahead and got that. And then I have been wanting more fruits ever since I incorporated them in my diet. So at first I was like, I don't want anything to do with fruits. I don't want anything to do with vegetables. So I was trying to hide them in um, my foods and then the smoothies as well. And, um, but now I'm actually starting to want them. So I got some bananas. Um, I'm gonna make a fruit salad with pear, kiwi, and grapefruit. And then I was gonna cut up some, um, apples to put with my Greek yogurt and I'm going to do some honey on the Greek yogurt and then I've got this big cantaloupe um, so I'll slice that up and I'm going to put those in different containers too. Um, so I think I got enough uh, fruits for this week <laughs> and then last but not least I've got some eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and hard boil them because that seems to be the way that I like them the most and actually my husband's starting to get into hard boiled eggs. So it's great for him to just grab on his way out um, for work in the morning. And then I've been eating these um, Jimmy Dean sausage links too. Um, sometimes I get turkey, sometimes I get pork, just depends on what they have in the grocery store. And uh, this time they had the pork um, and not the turkey. So this is what I got in my groceries. I spent about $42 on this, so I was very excited. Um, a lot of stuff and a lot of it is organic too. So I was very happy about that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing some meal prep. I'm going to take some of this away that I'm not going to use right now. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and meal prep for the rest of it. So enjoy. All right. So the first thing that I do is I am going to soak all of my, um, vegetables and fruits in the thieves. Um, it's like an all purpose household cleaner. Um, but I use it to soak my fruits and vegetables too. Um, so I just do about just under a cap full and then I'll fill that with water and then I'll soak all of my vegetables and fruits. All right. So as you can see, it foams up, um, just like a little soapy. So I'll go ahead and put these in there. Um, 
grapefruit <clears throat> and the kiwi. And just go ahead and get that ready for my winter fruit salad. So in my fruit salad, it's got kiwi, grapefruit, um, and then I, it's got pear, and then it's honey and balsamic. grapefruit, two kiwi, and a cup of pear, um, chopped pear. So I ended up just doing one pear because it looked about a cup to me. And then you'll need um, two tablespoons of balsamic. This is our lovely balsamic vinaigrette that we got, or balsamic that we got from Italy. It's the good stuff. And then You'll need one tablespoon of honey. And this is our fresh local honey. container of Greek yogurt because it's a lot cheaper and then I will put it in my own containers to save a little bit of money. And I'll just pour a little bit of this honey on there just to give it a little bit of flavor so it's not so plain. I'm going to cut up an apple so I can go ahead and put that in there too. And then I'm just going to mix up these um, apples in here in hopes that they won't brown. We'll see. I've never done this before, so I'm hoping that this actually works.
breakfast and for lunch. So I'm just gonna put it in one big bowl and then I'll put it in smaller bowls if I need to use that later. So while I'm cleaning this up, I don't know if I've ever told you the story about these lock locks. <laughs> so my husband is so funny. He, he's a sucker. So he turned on QVC for literally 10 minutes and the, <laughs> they were displaying these lock locks. And he just decided he just had to have them. So he ordered them. I didn't even know. And then they came the next week <laughs> in the mail. And I'm like, what is this? He said, oh yeah, these are these new um, containers and they all lock into one. And so you've got one big one with all the containers inside of it. So ever since we've been using this, they're really great. I actually really like them. Um, I would totally recommend them um, for anybody who wants to have, we, we don't have a lot of kitchen space. So it's really nice because they're all literally stacked all in one. Um, and we got a square one and then the round ones. Um, and they were a really good deal. So I would definitely recommend it. All right, so now that all my food prep is gone, done, I'm gonna go ahead and let the rest of this stuff sit and dry out while I'm boiling my eggs. So the way that I like to boil my eggs is I um, go ahead and put them in the pot and then I'll let them come to a boil and then I will turn on the timer for 12 minutes and let them go for 12 minutes and then take them off and take them completely off of the heat and dump the water so that it stops the boiling process. Um, this has made my hard boiled eggs perfect every single time. So I love this way to do it. And I definitely recommend it. All right guys, so it just started boiling, as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer for 12 minutes. eggs boil I actually like to go ahead and peel them right away so that they're just easier to grab and go directly in our um, drawers in the refrigerator. And then we've got our cantaloupe, our hog bread eggs, my yogurt, and then my fruit salad. So I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator and then they'll be easy to just grab and go. So I hope that you enjoyed this grocery haul and meal prep. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And comment below if you like these types of videos and what you'd like to see me do. All right, until next time guys, bye. <laughs>